And we're tied once again with 11 seconds to go in overtime. Jean Baptiste. Fast up, gives back to Seau. Hunter the slam, the alley oop. Azor is going to have to take the prayer. Does. Off the glass, no good. And the Owls will hold wow. on and win the Little East wow. Conference Championship. That was the dramatic oh overtime finish Saturday that brought the LEC Championship home to Keene. Welcome back to Inside Owl Athletics. I'm Quinn Kimmel. And I'm Maria Carabello. Thanks for joining us. Keene State men's basketball are your 2021-2022 LEC champions. The Owls took to Trip Athletic Center looking to compensate after dropping the season series. Head coach Ryan Kane chose to run two big men against the Corsairs and the decision paid off, with James Anozzi taking home 19 points and 11 boards. Anozzi would also be given most outstanding player of the tournament honors by the Little East. Jeff Hunter would also finish with a double-double, tying Anozzi in points but adding two more rebounds to his tally. This is the Owls' fifth title in program history, their first since 2019. Keene State would take this one in overtime, 71-69. to The Owls winning the LEC title means one big thing. It's selection show time here on campus. The whole team gathered together yesterday to watch the official selection show. The Owls got their results, and they hit the road to Swarthmore College in Pennsylvania. Swarthmore College comes into the bracket with a 22-5 record, most recently dropping their conference title game against Johns Hopkins. Head coach Ryan Kane is aware of Swarthmore's success, even in a conference with a team like Johns Hopkins. Um, you know, both those teams are consistently in state tournaments. Swarthmore has made some deep runs in the NCAAs. Um, you know, have a tradition of success, so it'll be a really good test for our program on Friday night. The Owls NCAA play begins on March 4th. Men's lacrosse faced off against Nichols College this past Sunday. Owls first year Rex Macarini netted the first of his two goals on the day to quickly put the Owls up 1-0. The Bison followed this up with two unanswered goals by CJ Cadigan to take the 2-1 lead. From here on out, the Owls would dominate seeing three goals scored by both Nate Sickles and Colby Quiet. The Owls moved to 1-1 one one after taking this game with a score of 14-8. The men's and women's track and field teams competed at the New England Division III Championships over the weekend. Junior Jacob Pearl for the men's track and field team placed 11th in the 1,000 meters. Pearl also participated in the 4x400 meter relay along with Sam Hennedy, Dawson Hamili, and Cameron Giordano. These men led their team to play 17th in this event. As for the women, Shannon Parks had a standout weekend. Parks broke her personal record in the shot put by throwing 12.6 meters. This earned Parks third place in the competition, as well as all New England honors. Parks contributed to 11 of the Owls' points, helping them finish in 16th place. Seven Keene State athletes were recipients of LEC Weekly Awards. First up is a senior for men's basketball, James Anozzi. Anozzi would average a double-double throughout the playoffs, leading Keene to become LEC champions. Up next, another men's basketball player, but this time a first year. Octavio Brito would take home Rookie of the Week awards. Brito has been huge throughout the playoffs for the Owls, scoring 17 points and tallying up six rebounds in the second round of LEC playoffs against Eastern Connecticut State. Keene State also swept all four of the men's lacrosse awards this week, starting with sophomore midfielder Colby Quiet. Quiet's goal scoring would help lead the men's lacrosse team in their first win this season. Another men's lacrosse player is taking home the Rookie of the Week title. Rex Macarini is receiving his first LEC Weekly Award. The freshman attackers had a strong start to his Owls career. This next award would bring the men's across team to three awards this week. Goalie of the Week goes to Chase Chamberlain. Chamberlain made 30 saves in his last two games. He now has 206 career saves, the eighth highest total in school history. One more LEC award is being handed out to the men's across team, bringing the grand total to four for the men. Shane Malloy is receiving Defensive Player of the Week award. Malloy not only got it done on the defensive side with six turnovers, but he also added a goal and an assist. Our last award of the week goes to a familiar name in track and field. Shannon Parks would claim her third Field Athlete of the Week award this season. Parks made school history with her new record of 12.60 meters in the shot put and breaking her own record from earlier this year. The women's and men's lacrosse teams have an exciting day ahead as spring sports have officially started. Tonight, the women's lacrosse team will travel to Western New England University to face off. 
The men's lacrosse team also hit the road today to Vassar College to compete. For score stats and more, check out KeenOwls.com. Again, that's KeenOwls.com. That's all for today's show. For all of us here at Inside Owl Athletics, I'm Quinn Kimmel. And I'm Aurora Carabello. Thank you so much for watching.